Hey everybody, it's Scott here from yearrules.com. I hope you guys are all having a splendid day out there and I'd like to welcome you all to my channel. So today we're checking out a super neat minimalist wallet called the Keep It Slim Flap Wallet by the company Miscellaneous Goods, also known as Miss Goods. Now this wallet's pretty simple in its makeup as it's just a simple flap, but it's got some really neat design details that makes it really unique. Now, I really enjoyed my time carrying this wallet in my pockets for over a month, and I'd like to share with you guys what I found and some just general details about the wallet. Now, Miscellaneous Goods is a really neat company with a really cool story. Tyler Deeb is a graphic designer turned entrepreneur, and he started this company, and it's based out of Kentucky. So having a United States branded company is really cool. Now he started out with a Kickstarter campaign making this deck of cards here. Now what's really cool about these deck of cards is he actually designed these cards himself and each card is unique in their own way and they're professional quality made like a bicycle playing card. I'd like to thank Miscellaneous Goods for sending me these products. I've really enjoyed using them and interacting with them. I really hope you guys enjoyed this review, and if you do, please like this video, and feel free to subscribe to my channel, and as always, you can follow me on Instagram. So let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so like I typically do, we're just going to walk through his website really quickly because there's a lot of cool things going on, and you can tell he's a graphical designer because it is really well done. Um, so like the name of the company kind of implies, there's a lot of different products they sell, and it kind of spreads across a broad range of products. Uh, their main categories are Smell Good, Good Game, and Good Goods. Now the Smell Good has all sorts of things like colognes and incense. The Good Game has those really cool playing cards that really started off this company um, that I showed you guys in the intro. And the Good Goods has some of their more harder projects like a flask and the wallets, which we're going to be talking about. What I really want to show you guys is on the Learn tab up here in the top left, there's an About Us section. And this is a deep dive into the founder of the company, Tyler Deep. It's got a really cool story here as well as some really neat videos. Um, like I said, he started out and is still in Kentucky. Um, but really, if you just walk through this blog type setup here, he kind of talks about his start, um, kind of where he was in life when he started out the company, and it just goes through the progression. Um, so that's really awesome. So we're going to be talking about the wallet, which is under Good Goods. And he has a couple different types of leather wallets. The one I'm going to be showing you guys today is the V1 wallet the V just talks about the different uh, types of leather colors um, but they're all the same basically style so without further ado let's go ahead and start talking about the finer details of this wallet and kind of show you what you're gonna get alright so before we get into the wallet, I just wanna quickly show you guys the cards I kinda teased them a little bit but just wanted to show you the quality that goes into these cards now obviously they're made in the USA, I've kind of already talked about that. And if you just take a look on just the box of cards themselves, you can see that every little design detail has kind of been thought out. And he's got these cool little quotes like here to stay. Um, I mentioned made in USA, they're based out of Kentucky. And these, this is the same manufacturer that makes um, some of the more popular playing cards. Um, so really cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of these neat cards. Um, the back of the cards look similar to the outside of the box. Now flipping over to the other side of the cards, you really get to see the artistic ability of Tyler. Um, the face cards are all individually unique and they're just really cool. And he even innovated the number cards which typically are left kind of, you know, how they always are so I find that really fascinating really enjoy this deck of cards um, so I really encourage you guys to head on over to his website I left the link down below and at least buy a box of cards because they're really not that expensive and after seeing these deck of cards how could you not okay so let's go ahead and put these cards away and finally start talking about the keep it slim flap wallet 
Now the first thing that I want to highlight, because a lot of people probably miss it, is the etchings on the outside of the leather. Um, there's lots of sayings and different markings that um, definitely have some meaning and Tyler just doesn't put it there for no reason. The flap has a keep it or lose it marking on it, and, which I think is really funny. And there's a poetic quote on the back, which I really, really enjoy. Something to put things into perspective. Now next I want to talk about the makeup of this wallet. First and foremost, this is one piece of leather which is going to add to the durability of this wallet. And what also is going to add to the durability is the leather itself. It's very thick and you can tell it's high quality leather. Um, the thickness of this wallet is surprising, but not in a bad way. I just wouldn't expect a wallet the size of a credit card to have such heftiness to it. Um, but I personally really enjoy that aspect. So the next I want to talk about the stitching on the side. It is hand stitched with wax thread and you can see each hole is double stitched. Um, and that's going to make it very durable which is something you probably need because this wallet is said to hold up to 15 to 25 cards and cash. Me personally I only had you know anywhere from 5 to 8 cards with some cash and it did just fine but it is supposed to be able to withstand that and before we start putting cash and cards into this wallet I just want to take one more look on the outside of this wallet to kind of look at all the design details and you guys didn't get to experience this wallet when I first got it but it has gotten darker and shinier and it has really weathered well over time that being said, this is volume one of this wallet, so the other ones are lighter leather, so they will patina differently. Now let's start putting cards in it. This is four inches by two and a half inches, um, pretty standard, and you'll see as I get my cards out here that it is you know slightly bigger than your your average credit card or gift card. So we got five cards in here that we'll just um, insert into the flap wallet. And you'll see that this wallet can handle that and obviously a ton more. Now this has been stretched out a little bit just because I have kind of maxed it out. So let's go ahead and throw some cash into this wallet and see how it fares. Now because of the size of the wallet, I do tri-fold my cash and it makes it easy to slip the cash into the wallet. I typically do it into the back just because it's easier to push in. And that trifold cash fits in there perfectly and really just doesn't add to the thickness that much. Okay, so what I'm going to do next here is throw a couple more cards in to see really how it affects the wallet. So we're going to have a total of eight cards and, you know, half a dozen dollar bills trifolded. So this is um, a substantial amount. You know, the average person, eight cards is going to be plenty and, you know, some people don't carry around cash or really that many cards anymore because of cell phones. And you can see that this wallet does just fine consuming those extra three cards. Now, I've been talking about a lot of positives with this wallet. I do want to point out a, um, a con or a negative. And this happens with a lot of wallets these days. But if you're somebody that cares about your data and privacy, you are going to want to have an RFID shield protectant card. This is the Wayfinder data blocker card. I think it's called the Glitch. I typically use it because I like the blackout nature. But if you have a credit card or debit card, um, because the leather isn't metal, it's not going to block any of that stuff. So I'll be sure to leave a link for that down below if you want to get that RFID card. Now another con that I will point out, and some people might not see this as a con, but this wallet is very simple. A lot of the wallets that I have reviewed have a lot of gadgets or different uh, quirks that make it unique, and this one um, doesn't have that, which some people might like. Now to review some of the pros of this wallet that I've kind of talked about, really love how this wallet has weathered over time. Just really appreciate that aspect of it. Um, the wallet also just has a very good feel to it. It's very hefty. The stitching is very good. It does not fray you, even if you purposely scratch it. Um, with no cards and just bending the crap out of this wallet, you can see that this thing is going to last a very long time. So I think you can buy this with confidence and it really isn't that expensive running at $58 currently. So I really hope this review helped you guys uh, understand more about this wallet and miss goods. Um, at the bare minimum, get yourself a deck of cards because these things are really cool.
If you guys have any comments or questions, please leave them down below. And uh, if you guys want to see more videos like this, more wallet reviews, I have a ton upcoming and I've already done a couple of them. So feel free to subscribe to my channel. And with that, I'll leave you guys to your day. Take care. Let's take it down.